Danny. Blake. Close us out. All right. Um, the last time that we spoke, I went on a bit of a rant about how I don't want to hear anything holiday related until Thanksgiving passes. Halloween is, you know, the moment Halloween ends, we should not be hearing about Christmas, etc. Right. However, <laughs> <laughs> to be a sensible, to be a sensible person, you really should start considering. Holiday shopping. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, it had to be done. It had to. Uh, and it deserved, deservingly so. Absolutely. It's a horrifying thing. You have to consider holiday shopping ahead of the game. Because you can't be in there last minute. And I don't know about you, but I've had several experiences where I was that jackass last minute trying to purchase gifts. Um, we've also kind of talked about the convenience of online shopping. Oh, that's, that's going to be popping up every other podcast. I've right. Online shopping. And so as much as I kind of hate the idea of the holidays closing in so quick, I like, I almost feels like, feel like it impedes on, on my territory because I love Halloween. I get Halloween. Then a week or so later, my birthday approaches, but Christmas is already infiltrating and it's already taking over. And like, even on my birthday, I'm just like, oh man, it's only like a month and a half till Christmas. So I got to start buying gifts. This is going to be terrible. Dude, you're preaching in the choir. My birthday is yeah. 10 days before Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 12 days. You want to get technical. <laughs> uh, my birthday is 10 days, about 12 days. No, 12 days before Christmas. So yeah. It's, uh, no, I, feel, I hear, I yeah. hear, I hear exactly. You know how many times I got screwed over growing up for that <laughs> shit? Here's the gift for birthday and Christmas. Oh, screw you. <laughs> Screw you! It's like you're getting I'm eight. Two, you're just double. You're doing the the. the you're two getting birds, two gifts stone? at once. Garbage. Yeah. No, I don't want that. I want two gifts on two different days. For real, I'm yeah. a kid. I yeah. Come on. I had some family members who represented and gave me two one for each. I'm like, those are the ones I still talk to today. But the other ones, you know who you are. Why am I talking over here? The camera's right here. Who's over like, there? I feel like this is like an online, like, a, like a, I'm having an interview with freaking like uh, Colbert on uh, The Daily Show or something like that. Like I'm talking over here. Hi, camera. Hello. Talking to you. Um, you guys don't know it, but we actually do have a host that's uh, reading us questions right now. Oh, that's, shit. Uh, shit. Have you not been answering those the entire time? I uh, totally missed that in the memo before the podcast, Danny. Well, great. I uh, just wasted 10 bucks an hour on nothing. Oh, um, we don't pay labor costs. So anyway, so you know, either way, though, both our birthdays fall around the holidays. So true. That's always a, a buzzkill and a buzzkill. But it, it can it can it, it can take away some steam. Let's put it that way. Yes, I agree. And obviously, we have the online shopping option, which is great. But at the same time. A lot of those things that you're purchasing online, if you haven't picked it up and held it in a store, you may not know exactly what you're getting. Yeah. It's kind of a danger because if you're lazy like me and you're just like, I'm just going to have Amazon ship like 12 boxes of stuff to my mom's house and then I'll wrap them when I'm there with the family, you might open something and be like, ooh, God, this is going to be disappointing when they open it for Christmas. You know, but Amazon, they can wrap it for a small fee. They can wrap it for you. True, but I'm not going to pay extra when I know how to... Well, I'm not really good at wrapping nah. gifts. But <laughs> I'm actually a good rapper. Uh, oh, double meaning? I'm good at one of those, but you can decide which one I'm better at. I was about to lay down a beat, but I'm not going to. Uh, just because, you know, <laughs> I want you guys to wait. It's not that I don't want to put Blake on the spot. I just I want you guys to wait. Hey, and I'm find an out. improviser, man. I can do this. Um, I'm not going to do it now, though. Because we're wasting time. I'm not going to say this now. All right. Anywho. Anyways, I suck at gift wrapping, but that's beyond the point. I, I, I'll avoid the extra $2 charge on Amazon to do that yeah, myself. Yeah, I mean, like, I do that when but, I ship it to people... Cross state though, like I'm saying. Okay, that makes that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, that's so cheap though too. It's I mean like, (laughs) it's Christmas. Here's a computer printed card. Here is your gift (laughs) from Blake. Blake says, "Merry Christmas, happy birthday, (laughs) Merry Christmas." That's what it sounds just, like in my head when I read it. I'm not even I don't gonna, know about you, but that's what it sounds like. I'm not even going to go home for Christmas. I'm just going to send drones. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to yeah, send tons that's of drones. That's what they all do, yeah. right? That's what Amazon's kind of doing is doing sending out the drones. Anyways. The drones. It's, it's a real... I don't know about you. For me, it's a very tough balance because there is that like... There's the convenience of me just plugging in an order and being like, click, send, perfect, I'm done. But also the like... 
looking at that item and being like, ah, I don't know what that's like in real life. I should probably just go to the store, check it out, make work and life twice as hard on myself by not purchasing it in store because I can get yeah. it on Amazon cheaper, but then I just have to ship it, but I still need to know what it feels like. Anyways, what I'm boiling down to is the holiday shopping season is incredibly stressful. People go crazy around the holiday shopping season. Have you ever had any good holiday shopping stories? Well, I mean, like it doesn't have to boil down to that. Next week is Black Friday. One of the worst. Next week is Black Friday. And that, that I mean, I've only known two people followed my up, entire life. Followed up by Cyber Monday? Cyber Monday's fine because it's all online. Yeah. Like, I don't give a shit about that. Like, that's great. And not to tell you the truth, Cyber Monday is a stupid hype of holiday. <laughs> There's not great deals on Cyber Monday. I'm sorry. Every freaking year I look at slickdeals.net, the best place to find any deal that's posted on any website anywhere, and it's supposed to, and users submit this shit... And I have not seen anything mind boggling. The best things I've seen on like Cyber Monday is like a, a hundred pack of DVDs for 15 bucks or something the people like People still buy DVDs? Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you can use it for USB, like for like a storage device. Sure. Like if you, like for example, so I use DVDs for like if I want to do headshots for actors and I, I give them a copy of all their photos. So I put all their photos on a DVD and I give it to them. Ah, so, okay. I mean, yeah. so, so they have a hard copy of it. Right. But to answer your question, no, no one uses DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> to make a long story short, yeah, to make no. A long story short, no. Um, but uh, Cyber Monday is kind of a joke to me. Uh, Black Friday, however, there are good deals, but I'm like, you're, you got to be insane that I'm going to be doing that for saving a hundred bucks. Are you kidding me? Like, it's usually like TVs, so I have a feeling with a Black Friday or... I remember back in the day, though, Black Friday was always Tickle Me. Remember the Tickle Me Elmo and uh, Nintendo 64? The, night, the, the, <laughs> the winner of 97, I think it was. That it was sounds the, about accurate. It was the winner of Tickle Me Elmo and um, uh, Nintendo 64. And it was this... It, that was like... Remember my first memories of Black Friday. I don't know how far before that but was, but it was... Like, are you kidding me? Like, I, why would I want to camp out till... You know, start at 5 a.m. and go 24 hours and sleep and, and all this for, for a toy or a, a gadget. That's so dumb. Yeah. Okay. So and I, I, I could never wrap my head around it. But I recall a Thanksgiving a while back where with my girlfriend at the time, we were leaving my parents' house. Okay. And uh, there's that... Uh, in the suburbs there of Chicago here, there is a gigantic, uh, what's, what's the, the term I'm looking for a mall, but it's like all the designer stores, but they're like, Oh, I know what you're talking. Hold on. Um, discounted prices. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, we are bad with names on this show. You're better than me though, but, um, outlet mall, outlet mall, outlet mall. Outlet mall. I just mall. had it the same time as you outlet mall, outlet mall. There's a gigantic outlet mall that we're passing off the highway oh, when we're headed back insane. to her house. And this was, we had stayed at my parents' house pretty late because we were hanging out. We were drinking. We were with my brothers and, you know, <laughs> okay, not okay. at my parents' house, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, we're going back to her house. We passed this outlet mall at like, I don't know, almost 1 a.m. The parking lot was absolutely packed and it looked like an airport. There was just a huge circle of cars. So all around so it, dumb. just all in line. And I looked at her, and I was just like, you want to get any shopping done right now? And she just <laughs> looked at me, and she's like, you're joking, right? And I was like, yes, obviously I'm joking. Obviously. Look at that. That looks awful. And she's like, how the hell did people do that? And I was just like, I don't know, to save 300 bucks? <laughs> but I mean, like... But is that worth your soul? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Is it worth your dignity? <laughs> is it worth your pride? Like, I mean... But also, too, I mean, do you really need an object that bad to save 100 bucks? You know, I mean... When, honestly, Black Friday, you're not saving thousands of dollars unless yeah. you buy, you know, a ton of things. You're saving a collective of thousand dollars. But for one item, you're not saving thousands. It's not like buying a car for a thousand dollars brand new. It's not like that. Yeah. You know, I would understand lines. If there was a Black Friday deal for brand new cars for a thousand dollars, I would understand lines. Right. I would get that. I would but be stepping for, on people and punching them and pushing them out of the way. I'd be like, give me a, that. But for a I want it. Scepter brand TV for two hundred bucks, I'm okay. I'm okay with not getting my Scepter discounted TV. 
I'm, it, 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 Magnet it's, box. Yeah. Sorny. <laughs> Sorny. <laughs> they have all the big names. <laughs> You really want a Panaphonics. A Panaphonics. I love Sorny. I love that. <laughs> oh, that was a great joke. And they're Sorny. Anybody who's a Simpsons fan, these references are going to come up from time to time. I'm sorry. That's Can't help it. Guy. It happens. I get them, though. Um, he understands. I get it. Speaks the language. That's how we do. It's, it's like Spanish, do. only L. Simpsons. Anyway. L. Doe. <laughs> so, yeah, no. I'm, it, it blows my mind every year that people can do this. But, like I said, I get anxiety about stuff because if I'm ordering it online and I may have not held the product in my hand, I don't know. But, okay, so how- what example? You said this already. So, I want to go back to that. What 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 product would you need to see or hold in your hand, for example? Like, what's something that, that would be an example? Okay, so, like, I've been... Uh, normally, the way my family does Christmas shopping is that everybody just puts out a list. And it's... <laughs> I'm going to find a way to streamline this because I know that some of my family members are going to listen to this. Uh, are they but, really? Which ones? Oh, you know my dad listens to Oh, your to dad this. listens. Your yeah. dad's all up on Facebook. Yeah. Hi. Hi, yep. Mr. B. And this has worked out perfectly because I didn't even tell you, but today as we were leaving lunch, he's like, you guys should give me a shout out on the podcast. And oh, no kidding. There it is, dad. Whoa. There it is. <laughs> hey, Mr. B. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, what we do is... Everybody sends out a list, and then the like seven other members of us, X that one person who we're talking about, I'm going to buy her this, I'm going to buy her this, I'm going to get her this, I'm going to get him this, I'm going to get him this, I'm going to get him this. And it turns into like eight different group conversations. Mm -hmm. You got to be real careful which one you're texting into because you don't want to give away what gift you're getting for what person. Uh, It's... Just give gift cards, for God's right. sakes. Yeah, it's crazy. Give, I'll take a Coles gift card. Yeah. I need that. There we go. If you're worse than the last episode, but, I mean, give me a Coles gift card. <laughs> but but what it boils down to is, you know, certain things you're like, okay, well, that's that's not that's not hard. I can order a pair of gloves off Amazon, which for the most part should be easy, but you never know. Like it says like medium sized hand, and it's just like, yeah, what okay, the hell is that what, a, what is what is a medium sized hand? What if they send me like a medium sized glove, and you know, it's Jeez, like that's it another goes thing down I the hate elbow. with fashion. It's like, yeah. what is it? What does that mean? So, Extra large, large <laughs> socks, large glove. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm supposed to know my size on the top of my head. Do I have a measuring tape? I can just measure my. I don't get this. I don't know. Uh, actually, just real brief sidetrack. While we're talking about that, okay. if you've never gotten measured for a suit. Uh, I don't oh, know if you've done it recently. Again, my body says changed, right. man. Uh, but if you haven't done it recently, you should, strictly because they can give you your proper sleeve size. Your arms aren't going to be growing any longer, I don't think, unless there's something that you haven't told us. <laughs> and your neck size will probably stay about the same. So you'll always have your neck size and your sleeve size. My which- neck's going to grow like four inches <laughs> next year. I'm going to have this barrel neck next year. <laughs> yeah, broad <bro>, girl. <laughs> All steroids rules and physics. Uh, all steroids aside, uh, when you look like uh, a Bobo from D- Double Dragon, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you should still know I what your oh my god, still know what your neck size and your sleeve size is. Oh Anyways, god. going back to holidays. <laughs> Also, if y'all haven't are meeting us for the first time, there's going to be a lot of real old video game references. That's that's one of the things that we do. Um, Anyways, going back to the Video holidays, games. stuff like that gets kind of freaky, right? Because you don't you don't know if it if they order something, you're just like then it becomes you know what? Let me ship it back to Amazon. Let me get another size for you. It'll only be like two to three weeks before your Christmas gift is delivered. Happy 2017. It's been a year and I haven't got you this gift yet. <laughs> uh, Wait, have you ever shipped anything back to Amazon? No, I have not. I got great, it's very very short stories. Bring it. It's all like three stories put into one right now. I've had I got three items off Amazon <laughs> and uh, all three items. Um, they were all various from like, uh, um, uh, from an electronic thing to a kitchen thing to a clothing. thing. Like all three were different, um, very different items. And either it wasn't the right size or what exactly what I wanted. And I replied, I'm going to return this shipping. And usually what you do for a, a return shipping on Amazon is you, excuse me. Yep. You're um, excused. Yep. So what you do is they'll like give you a printed label. And then you could put that on like FedEx and you return that item through FedEx, right? Right. So the three times I did it, Amazon's like, we were funding your money. You don't have to return anything back. Three times it's done that. Huh. Now, granted, the items I paid for were not more than $15. But for example, I bought an electronic and the cables were like eight, nine bucks. 
there were the wrong cables I needed for this podcast or whatever. Right. I messed up and I said, I'm going to return this item. And they said, we were in your money. Don't need to return the item. So it's like, okay, awesome. I got my money back. Just instant. I'm talking about instantly. Yeah. I got my money back. But now I have this cable and I don't know what to do with it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, I could give it away or whatever, but I, I think that's awesome for Amazon. It's like, it, cause they're so big. And they're so monstrous. It's like, we don't care about an $8 return right now. Like, yeah. It's, it's more work and money for us to return this instead of just refunding you your money. You instead I mean? of just, yeah, processing it, shipping, all of that stuff. Um, so, no, I have not. Uh, is that on us? I am posting for at Danny and Adam B to Instagram right now. He's doing it live. He's never done it live before. We're doing it live right now. Okay. So, you... Why are you doing it live? Why should we not do it live? Right, oh, he, no. Danny's in the zone right now. Perfect. Um, Nailed it. Danny was taking pictures. I don't know. I don't get Instagram. That's going to be a next topic. I'm That'll saving be another this topic. I'm saving this. Instagram. I don't freaking get it. That'll be I another topic. I don't get it. Uh, However, there was a time where I didn't get Twitter, and I'm really, I'm really pushing hard on, on the Twitter right now. Yeah, you got you to gotta tweet. You got to tweet like every hour on the hour. But, for you're, people not, to, but you're not tweeting. I, I know. I got to get better at Twitter, too. I'm, I'm working. You see me, though. Yeah. You, like, you follow me now on Twitter. Yes. That I'm posting several times a day now. I'm working, I'm working the Twitter now. I'm working it. I am. Did you see my latest tweet today? You know what? Again, this is the problem with me and Twitter. I got to check it more. Yeah, you got to check it more. Yeah, because yeah. I'm Instagramming things. Stop. You know what you should do? Your daily routine? Before you go, because I know you check Facebook like constantly. True. Click Twitter first, then Facebook. Okay. Do that as a habit. I'm going to check on you next week, or we don't have a podcast next week because I'm going to be out of town. We got to think about this. We can either do a bonus podcast this weekend, or we can do it next weekend really, really late. We'll have to talk about that. You decide. No, you don't decide. We're going to decide. We're going to go ahead and decide. Uh, I'm free Friday. Just throwing that out there. Friday. Also, ladies, I'm free on Friday. Just throwing that out there. Hey. Anyways. The parents' house again I by the mall. <laughs> Outlet mall. Uh, he can rap. There you go. Oh, it's been proven. Oh. I don't live with my parents anymore, by the way. I, I have my own place. Hey, we've all been there, yeah. and we're all out. We're I have all my own place. House. Not all of you. And if you were uh, uh, you know, a young um, you know, college something or teenager and you're listening to this, um, not teenagers. Better, better, better no. time. No, teenagers live with the folks. Okay. All right. Oh, I thought you were going a different direction. I thought you were trying to set me up, and I was like, no, no teenagers. No, this is not. A, this is not about you, Danny. This is not about dating. This is not about you. I'm talking about the the the, the, the masses. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about teenagers and and college students and or post college students who live with their folks. Let's go ahead and do a quick I'm ego just check. T- I'm just doing something nice, which this whole theme of this pod was about doing something nice. I'm saying better times are ahead. You will not always live with your parents unless you're freaking useless. But while you do live with them, take advantage. Yes. And don't be dicks to your parents. Don't. No. Come do on. Not. Don't be don't dicks, be to, dicks your parents. to your parents. Unless they're dicks to you, then be dicks to them. Yeah. Then. But the, the chances are your parents aren't dicks to you, so don't be dicks to them. And anytime that you want to be a dick to your parents, remember how much money they have spent on you. Dude, th- you'll realize this when you're older, how much life is, and then you'll look at your folks and be like, damn. Like, I, it, it's, it's just freaking mind-boggling. How much money they have spent on you. And then you get older and you realize this and how much money you have to spend for yourself. And then, God, we turn this into a completely different subject. Yeah. And holidays. I'm going to finish well, off the holidays. I'm, holidays. I'm making a segue. Holiday. So think about this. Then get your folks something nice. See? Segway. We did it. Done. God, we are good. And to we segue and to finish off that segue, don't be like this guy. Uh, one last funny story about holiday shopping because I get that anxiety and because I'm like, you know what? No, I need to go in and I need to shop for something physical and I need to, yeah, I need to put my hands on something. I, <laughs> this was Christmas last year. Uh-huh. I'm still, <laughs> still ashamed of this because Uh-oh. it probably got aired and I, we just made jokes about it the entire night. I had already gotten my, most of my Christmas shopping done. Mm-hmm. I was buying one last thing, which okay. was, the sword and the stone for my nephew. Um, he the was, Disney version, yeah, with Merlin. Yeah, freaking love that movie. He was way. He, my nephew is is uh, just a little over two years old. He still was, never met him. He was too. He was too young at the time to watch it, obviously. But we were already building up his collection. My important message to him in the sword of the stone was: even the smallest person can make the biggest difference. No, like the Lord and of the Rings. like the Lord of the Rings. Yes, but. 
I went in with a couple of friends to Best Buy. I picked up the Sword in the Stone. That's all I really needed. I, I bought that. That was my last gift. I was like, great. I got this for Anthony. It's good to go. Excuse me. Beer makes you burp. And it does. We got to figure that out. It's, we're going to burp. It's inevitable, people. You're going to have to deal with it. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, I'm it's sorry. not into the microphone. So you're right. It was being polite. Yeah. Anywho. Anyways. Holidays. We have, we have to really as, wrap this up. Yeah, so. As I get to the checkout line, I, for myself, had gone through like the bargain Blu-ray bin where they, you know, you can get like Blu-rays for like seven bucks, eight bucks. The BBB. Are, right. That are just like B movies that are, tr- <laughs> that are cheesy and terrible. And I picked out like four or five of them. And the checkout line, the only one that is open, this is late night. This is like two nights before Christmas Eve. Uh There's a gigantic WGN camera just focused on it. And I was like, come on. Are you serious? I was like, this is, I was like, why are you, why are they filming this? And so I'm talking to the girl and I was like, I never heard this story. I'm talking to the girl and I'm like, what is, what's, what's with the WGN camera? And she's like, they're just filming stock footage right now. And I go stock footage. And she's like, yeah. And I go, so Basically, this guy is filming me looking like a sad sap who's just buying DVDs and Blu-rays for his family at the absolute last possible minute from the bargain bin. And she just started cracking up and goes, yeah, hopefully they won't air you. (laughs) Don't you have to sign a waiver for that? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, if it's just stock footage, like it's just on the register. But you're in it, though. They didn't ask me to sign shit. Uh, So the whole joke, the running running joke for the rest of that night was... uh, (laughs) Most depressing man in Chicago does last minute Blu-ray gifts for family out of bargain bin. <laughs> were you on this? No, no, no. That was a joke that we were making. Oh, like, I'm, I'm, me, I'm Caleb, sorry. Like Caleb, I misheard Caleb, you. I no, misheard. Caleb, oh Caleb, myself, and Alexia were making that joke the entire time. We Hi, were Alexia. With, I miss you. Hello. Anywho, shut up, Caleb. We hate you. Yeah, shut up, Caleb. Uh, Even listen but we were no <laughs> because you're Caleb. Yeah, what do you do? We were making that joke the entire night because they were dying laughing because I'm just sitting there checking out bargain <laughs> blue bargain bin Blu-rays BBBs and there's just a WGN camera filming me and I'm like this looks That's awful. Hilarious. This looks awful. I never heard that story, so that was a, a story for all of us. Danny, what are you writing this beer? My embarrassment. Uh, you know what? Wait, wait, let me rephrase. I'm sorry. I said this beer. That was disrespectful. What are you rating sweet water, hash brown, hop hash infused, India style brown ale? It's very different and it blends two styles that I like a lot. Uh, but I'm not really certain how much I feel the blend. I'm going to give this three because it's very Dude, drinkable. It's fucking awesome. It's very I swore. I'm sorry for swearing, but hey, I'm, I was going to give it a three because it's very drinkable, but it's just not something that I would do a lot of. Exactly. Yeah. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to say anything because Danny said exactly what I was going to say. Exactly. It tastes great. This is the second one of these. I'm like, I can't do much more of these second beers. Yeah. I mean, like, I could, but I'm like, eh. It's, um, it's good. It's ex- the reason I'm giving it three because it's exactly what its description says. It tastes, ex- it tastes good. Just can't do a lot of it. And um, it's a little at, bit too earthy for yeah, me. Yeah, the aftertaste after the second beer, it just gets a little wear and tear. Yeah. So, um, Solid beer, though. Solid. Three yeah. solid. And uh, it's like on Netflix, you see three, it says, I like it. I, mean, I do it like this. It. Like you like it. So three, I like it. Just um, doesn't, it's just in that middle zone. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, if you ever want to submit a topic, please follow me on Twitter at Big Deal Blake. Follow Danny on Instagram at Danny Adam B. You can DM me topics. I promise. Um, life is so damn busy right now. It's so damn busy, but uh, my Patreon page is setting up soon. Um, I really appreciate it. You just check on it periodically and see what I have to post on there. I'm doing a lot of work for it. It's not just slapping on a page and doing this. I'm really working hard on everything. So check out for that soon. Can uh, we do Danny. one last cheers to positive vibes to everybody who needs them across the pond? Absolutely. This is not just for across the pond, but for uh, the, world. the world. It really is. Yeah. World peace stuff. Um, not No joking aside, really. Um, yeah, no, seriously. The world needs positive vibes right some, now. Yeah, Hopefully really. this is what we're bringing to you guys. That's what we wanted to do today. Yeah, and I'm not bringing hate onto people who are hating right now. I'm not. I'm just, I'm looking, we're looking more on the, the, the positive side. So, yes. Um, again, thank you for joining us in France. All the respect, all the respect. In the world. Thank you, Danny. We missed you from last week. And Good we'll to be look, back. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you again next week. Real soon. Cheers. Cheers.